Carl, you good? Yep. It's good to see you. I mean, you're at the State House today, basically talking Medicaid expansion. Why the urgency? Why the conversation today? Uh, the conversation naturally came up. I was uh, at the Ohio State Fair, and I ran into Terry. And uh, just through the course of the conversation, I found out what it was that he did. And uh, it was just on my spirit to share with him that I had my own mental health issues. And uh, I never came out and told anybody just from embarrassment, you know what I mean? And just the spirit kind of moved into me just to talk to him about it. And he told me a lot of what they had going on. But it was at times that I didn't know the resources that were in the community or people who can help me at that time or times that may have been confusing to me. I didn't realize you can get some sort of uh, formal help. Uh, when I went down to Ohio State and got some formal help from my doctors down there, along with people in the community, you know, my life just changed. I think uh, uh, the coolest thing is well documented, you know what I mean? Just uh, uh, the down times, the depression, uh, sort of the things that happened to me before, and just now how I pick myself back up. Uh, just the medication I take, uh, my, my thoughts are straight, my head is calm, uh, I can see life slowly. You know, depressing moments don't feel depressing anymore. And uh, I'd be a liar if I said that it didn't help, you know what I'm saying? So I understood what it was that he was trying to do. I told him uh, we had a meeting the other day, and I said, you know, what is, what is the synopsis of what you all are trying to do or trying to accomplish? Uh, when he sat down, it was just heartfelt, you know, so when he spoke to me, and I just said, hey, yeah, I can support it. Is, it, is the bottom line here just accessibility, additional coverage for people who, who need it? Additional coverage and also awareness, you know what I mean? Awareness and the woman, the woman hit on it, uh, long-term treatment, you know, uh, if it wasn't for, if it just was, if it wasn't for awareness, if it wasn't just for me just having the courage to go and get the sort of help, you know, sent to even know where it was at, uh, and just also and for it to be accessible, you know, so I'm fortunate enough now to be able to pay for the medication out of my pocket, uh, just based upon the business I do. Uh, but just there's a lot of people who suffer like me, you know, uh, just being inside of prisons or growing up in inner cities or just everybody, you know, saying being in suburban America, everybody suffers from some sort of thing, and I think the mental health problems lead to addiction problems. And I think when I got my mental health problem under control, the addiction problem just kind of went away. And I think it's uh, one comes with the other, but this is me talking from experience, you know what I mean? Uh, like, what, like when he was talking about talking points, I don't need them, you know what I'm saying? This is my life. These are things that really took place in my life and happened to me. So this is just me speaking from my heart. And, uh, and if you got away from me and talked to anybody around me in my life and just seeing the difference, the difference is just the treatment I've been getting, uh, the continuing uh, the continual treat the continual treatment and it just happened. You've wandered into the dominating issue in the state of Ohio, particularly as we look ahead to this fall, the debate over Medicaid expansion. What message oh, it's would you it's have? The issue. I, don't know. Uh, yeah, I think <laughs> both, most certainly I think my colleagues would agree the dominating issue for this fall. There's a deadline that the state of Ohio is gonna have to make a determination whether they want to expand Medicaid. What, what would be your message to the lawmakers who walk these halls? I don't have a message or a thing. You know, I can I can only tell my story and, uh, and hope that it connects with somebody. And like the woman said up there, uh, to look at the people, to look at the person. You know, you just don't understand the amount of pain that a person who's going through that that mental state goes through and how it affects everybody. You know what I mean? It becomes a strain on society. And now that I'm back in society, now that I'm back mentally healthy, now that I'm back uh, just being a healthy and productive individual, I, I help and influence a lot of people. One, off my notoriety, and two, for me being able to experience and find out how I got from where I was to where I'm at now. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know if you can have another major example like this. Just somebody who's been at the depths of, uh, or been in a place of prison, the worst place you probably want to go besides death, and to crawl out of it, to get my life back together, to know the fundamental reasons or principles of why I'm the way I am now, uh, you know, it just means a lot to me. You know what I mean? A lot to me personally, and the people who share the stories up there. You know, that was real pain, and I felt them, and I understood it, and I can identify with it just because I went through it. You know, saying those people need help as well. Can you remember when your sentence started? What age?